and we're going to be taking this very fun motorcycle on the freeway over here and uh, before we do I want to go through some things on the motorcycle with you for those of you that are about to start riding I know gas prices going up again and then I'm going to do a topic titled 666 atheist I'm going to show you how atheism contradicts itself and what I'm about to go through with you on this video you should try this with your atheist friends it drives them nuts they hate it but it's good because we could unbrainwash our atheist friends when they realize how full of crapola atheism really is now this is a, a Suzuki SV1000 and for those of you that are going to be getting a motorcycle basically on the right hand side is braking for the front front brake here and then here's the throttle okay now let's mosey on down here this little sight glass check this out that's how you check the oil okay so let's mosey on over this side this is the clutch you know when you're gonna shift gear like on a car how you put the clutch in and when you do that you kick here You're going to kick up to shift up and then kick down to shift down. Now let's spend a little time here on this gear shifter because this is what confuses people. I want you to imagine a ladder like that you climb up and down and on the bottom of the ladder, <clears throat> excuse me, is first gear and then slightly up above the ladder in between the first rung and the second rung, which would be the second rung would be second gear in between the first rung and the second rung is neutral so if you were to slightly kick up from first you'll go into neutral but if you kick up all the way you'll go to second gear and then third fourth fifth sixth then to shift downward you put your foot on top of the gear shift lever and then you go five four three two one like that you got it that's how we shift now let's go over here This here is called a throttle rocker, and this is what you like rest your hand on. Well, let me use the right hand. This is what you rest your hand on. So if you're going on long drives, you know, you don't have to hold your hand like around the grip for a long time where your hand gets cramped. Now you notice uh, what this does is it turns around here, but if I push down, it doesn't turn around. See, it locks. So what I do when I'm on the streets, because it's kind of dangerous if you need to make a panic stop, you know, I will keep it kind of like that where I don't use it. Once I'm about to get on the freeway, you'll see me flip it up like that. Okay, so let's go. We're going to get on the freeway now, and we're going to talk to you as it's very hot. Whew, it's hot. We're going to talk to you about 666 atheists. And then, of course, the S stands for Sinner Saved by Grace. The Sinner Saved by Grace. So you ready to get on? All right, <clears throat> getting on the motorcycle. <sighs> Putting the this camera in the helmet, very small camera, it sits in front of my mouth with velcro here so velcro's on the inside of my visor check this out we're going to be hands-free you see that look all right let's start this puppy up and we're going to talk to you about <laughs> 666 atheists this is one thing i like to do in debate and it drives the atheist crazy. You should see me do this in a giant chat room. The atheists go nuts because they realize how full of crapola atheism is. So, we all set? All right, let's go. What I'm going to do is pull the clutch in and I'm going to kick down. Remember the ladder, and we're going to be in first. 
I'm slowly going to let the clutch out while giving it a little throttle. And we're going to get out on the street. Now, here's what I did. I uh, was in the room last night. And by the way, um, if you go right below this video and you go to the website there, www.shockanow.net, the very top you'll see a video of atheist Christopher Hitchens getting destroyed in a debate. He loses horribly. At one point, the his uh, Christian challenger, Dr. William Lane Craig, asked him a question under cross-examination, and Christopher Hitchens uses a delay tactic where he pretends his microphone is messed up. It was really pathetic. So here's the question. We've only been talking for about six minutes. Speaking of six, we're going to talk about 666 atheists. We're going to be getting on the freeway. Now here's what I want you guys to do with your atheist friends. This is great. This really drives them crazy because it shows them how full of crapola atheism is and how it contradicts itself. So what you do is you ask your atheist friends this. You say, do you believe it's possible or impossible for God to exist? Now, what you're going to find when you ask atheists this is that atheism makes contradictory claims. It contradicts itself. It's like a married bachelor or a round triangle. It's just, it's not true. Now, some atheists will say it's impossible for God to exist. You've met them. You've met them. All types of them here on YouTube. They'll say it's impossible for God to exist. And you'll say, are you an atheist? They'll say, yes. Boy, someone sideswiped that guy's car. Now, other atheists that I've talked to, they said, well, I believe it's possible for God to exist. And I'll say, well, are you an agnostic? They're, no, 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 I'm not an agnostic. They'll say, they'll swear up and down that they're an atheist. Hold on, let's give it some throttle. Oh, by the way, check this out. So now I move it like that. And here we go. So you got other atheists that claim it's possible for God to exist. Tucking down. Big semi. So here we have a contradiction. Both, both groups of people, the ones that say it's possible for God to exist, and the ones that say it's impossible, both represent atheism. They're both atheists. You can't deny they're both atheists. I'm up to six gear here. Let's get all the way over here. So you have atheism contradicting itself. They both represent atheism. Now, then you'll ask your atheist friends this. See, Christians don't claim it's impossible for God to exist. As a Christian, we make the claim with one voice that God does exist. Now, if I said it was impossible for God to exist, I would be an atheist like them. By default, it is obvious that, that Christianity makes the claim that God exists. Okay, we make that claim. God exists. Hold on a second. Now, Catholics make the claim God exists. Protestants make the claim God exists. You see that? If you're a non-denominational Christian, you make the claim God exists. No contradiction. But atheism, you got a very serious problem. Let's go with this. You got 666 atheists in a room. And let's say that I put 333 of those atheists, half of them, I put the ones in there that claim it's impossible for God to exist. Okay? And the other 333 are atheists that claim it is possible for God to exist. So you got half, half of the atheists saying it's impossible, the other half saying it's possible. Now here's the problem. Then you 
<laughs> what you do with your atheist friend is you say, do you agree with me that the claim is possible for God to exist, why is this guy putting his brakes on? Contradicts the claim that it's impossible for God to exist. They must say yes, it clearly contradicts. Dude, this dude's writing. Does the claim it's possible for God to exist contradict the claim that it's impossible? I think he's on a uh, Suzuki GSXR, yeah. So the answer, hey, peace, brother. So the answer is yes. The claims do contradict. Well, Christians claim that God does exist. That's a cool motorcycle. You see the exhaust by his right foot? Mine kind of comes out more like towards, towards the back. There's a, there's a problem here with these 666 atheists. Now here's where you go, <laughs> you drive in and you prove your point. You just ask the atheist, look, does the claim it's possible for God to exist contradict the claim that it's impossible. What you're going to see there, they're going to try to evade it. They're afraid to answer it. Because you've just proven that atheism itself contradicts itself. Atheism accepts both claims. Yet both claims are hostile. They're hostile contradictions to each other. Let's pass this dude up here real quick. Both claims contradict each other. Therefore, atheism cannot be true. It can't be true. Christianity can be true. I know it's true. But even if you're not a Christian, you have to admit Christianity can be true because it's not a logical fallacy. It claims God exists. We don't have half the people saying it's impossible for God to exist and all this contradiction like atheism. 666 atheists. Now you ask your atheist friend this question. Do you agree that the claim it's possible for God to exist contradicts the claim it's impossible? They must say yes. Even a 12-year-old child with a brain full of mush will realize it's such a simple, obvious answer to the question that yes, the claims contradict each other. Let that sink in, my atheist friends. Atheism contradicts itself. Those two claims are not coming from Christianity. They're coming from the same source, atheism. The same source. Therefore, atheism, look at that yellow smart car, the car you, you wear. Therefore, atheism contradicts itself. I gotta get over into the other lane with a lot of traffic. So now you ask your atheist friend this. This is where it gets awesome. Once they admit that the claims contradict, which they must, they can't get around it. The claims contradict. It don't matter if it's coming from different types of atheists. Atheism makes two contradictory claims. Both of them are atheists. Both represent the worldview of atheism. I got to get over here on this freeway. Now you ask your atheist friend this. I did this in debate, or uh, not really a debate, it was a chit-chat session last night, and I got the atheist to admit that atheism contradicts itself. You say, once they say, yeah, the claims contradict each other, then you say, okay, well, you got 666 atheists in a room. Let's say 333 of those are claiming it's possible, 333 are claiming it's, it's impossible. Are they contradicting each other? And then the atheist has to say yes. Therefore, atheism is contradicting each other. They all represent atheism. Atheism, you lose. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And then you say this. Then if they're contradicting each other, who's right? Who's right? 666 atheists, they all can't be right. Who's right? You see? Last night, I got the atheist to say, I don't know. I said, you willing to admit that they all can't be right? He said, yes, there's no possible way they can be right. 666 atheists, you're all wrong. Atheism contradicts itself.
check out Hitchens getting pwned right here below this video. <laughs>